Hey guys, I wanted to share with you the writing of Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. I love hearing the inspiration behind songs and so I thought maybe you guys would like it too. So I wrote this song to basically be a picture of my life in these last two seasons, so spring and summer of this year. Like God has moved so mightily in my life. Verse 1 in this song talks about you know you get out of bed and you feel like the walls are caving and nothing seems to go right and you look in the mirror and the mirror haunts you and so at this point in my life I was really worried about what people thought of me how I looked my physical appearance and kind of not being enough for God and through this summer and spring and even now in the fall 
I have learned so much that God's love cannot be attained. Um, it's a gift. And so that was a big part. And that's why verse one is so different from verse two, which verse two is talking about, you know, how many people do we walk by each day and leave words unsaid? Like how many people do you walk by in a day that you could share the good news of God or point them to Christ by some little compliment or little thing you say to them? How many times do you pass that up in a day? And the reasoning I put that in the song is because I went to Houston this summer on a mission trip and it was the most life-changing thing I have ever done. And there was a point in the trip we went out and we went door to door inviting people to a VBS and I was super excited for it, super pumped to do it. And then I got there and I just couldn't get myself to knock on a door and talk. And so I got back to the, we got back to the church and that night I was just bawling and I didn't understand why I was there if I couldn't speak to people, if I couldn't um, proclaim the word of God to them. And so that night I just said, what if I started living out for him, started living and speaking out for him? And so then, from then on in that trip, I just poured my heart out to him and I just surrendered my life and what people thought of me um, so that I could proclaim the good news of him. The bridge is kind of like, let's be courageous and fearless. We were made in his image. You don't need to have anything hold you back from doing the work of the Lord. And so for me, that was just kind of overcoming thinking about what people thought of me or if I said this wrong, like what will happen through that and through the end of the summer starting college classes and stuff. I have just learned that you yourself are never going to have any like make anyone come to Christ. You're going to plant seeds and those seeds you might get to see bloom, you might not. But it's the idea of setting those seeds and letting God do the work in that. I just wanted to say that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I think it's in Psalms, it talks about how you were woven in your mother's womb. And just think of the creator of the universe, all the beautiful sunsets, sunrises, everything you see outside that is so gorgeous. He made you, specifically the way he wanted you to be. So if you're ever thinking, why am I like this? Why am I, why do I have this or that imperfection? God made you that way. And uh, you are perfect because you are made in his image. Thank you. <laughs>